Hi everyone, and welcome to the Kenyon Sports Connections presentation of the Matt Burdette Show. I'm Evan Frazier, alongside head baseball coach Matt Burdette. And coach, thanks for being here. Thank you. Um, so you just returned from Florida, uh, going 8-6 and six down there on that road trip. Uh, what can you take away from that trip uh, in, in your first few games? Well, I think Florida is about learning about your team. Um, we're very fortunate that we have you know, two weeks down there. We get to play quite a few games, uh, probably double what a lot of people get to play. So you hope that you learn, and then when it's over, you've learned enough that you can get yourself ready for the league games that are ultimately coming down the pike here in another couple weeks. Uh, now, we've mentioned before that this is a very young team. Uh, specifically, what have you learned about the freshman class thus far? Well... I've learned, just like I have learned in, in many years past, is that uh, young players are inconsistent. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Um, I, honestly, we, they played great at times, um, and, and at other times didn't play so great. I, I, I still believe that they're all really talented, and uh, as they get more mature and they get more experience, that they're going to be uh, vital cogs to the machine here. But right now, you, you know, you're... you're just dealing with some inconsistencies in, in their approach to, uh, to hitting and, and defense and base running and all those things that, uh, that are the nuances of the game. Now, you mentioned inconsistency. Uh, a, a question mark has been maybe the pitching staff and particularly the back end of that rotation. Uh, what can you tell us about that, maybe how to shore up the back end of that pitching uh, staff? Well, to be honest, I was pretty, I was pretty pleased with them. Um, you know, we got 13 different guys to pitch um, and to varying degrees of success, but I thought our starting pitching was pretty good. And towards the end of the trip, I, I thought we started to, to kind of understand the back end and how we're going to match up uh, at the end of game. So the pitching, to be honest with you, um, I, w I was pleased with. I thought they've worked really hard, and uh, those guys have done some really good things. Now, we saw you, at least for the last couple of games down at that road trip, um, tinkering a little bit with your lineup, moving guys up and down, different positions. Um, is this the work of a mad scientist or an evil <laughs> genius? What, what do you got going on? It's <laughs> a great question. Tinkering was kind. Um, <laughs> we did a lot of different things. Um, and people who know me and guys who have played for me, they know I like stability in the lineup. Um, I don't, I'm not generally a tinkerer or a mad scientist or evil genius, all those <laughs> great words you use. Um, we just didn't know, to be honest. So we're, we're trotting out four freshmen in the lineup every game. And uh, again, I wanted to come up with a lineup that didn't put too much pressure on them, but also gave them chances to be really good contributors. So uh, again, I think it was out of necessity. Um, but you will see that this lineup will, will take on some characteristics that I like. Um, especially stability here uh, in the coming weeks. Now, something we like to do around here is the off-topic topic, topic sure. where we digress for a moment or two. <laughs> uh, but we'll keep it baseball-related because okay. obviously we're both very big baseball fans. Uh, give me your World Series prediction for this year. Well, I'm always going to say the Cleveland Indians. Here we go. <laughs> I'm always going to say that um, because if they're not in it, I'm not watching it. So wow. um, I'm going to say the Cleveland Indians, and then let's go with the Atlanta Braves – so we can get a little bit of redemption wow. after, from, after that 95 from series. 95. Yeah. So I'm going to say 2014 Braves Indians yeah. Indians in six. The Indians did have some good teams back in the 90s, but just couldn't get could, couldn't win the big one. But now maybe, you're sticking the dagger really may, deep Maybe into this the maybe this is their year. <laughs> uh, uh, so finally, um, you got back to back games coming up on the road against uh, University of Pittsburgh at Greensboro. Uh, what's going to be the key to getting out of there with a couple of wins? Well, again, I think ultimately uh, we have to pitch well. I mean, it starts there. It always starts on the mound. But I think what we need to do, um, we've got to just make the routine play. Um, defensively make the routine play. Come up with a few clutch hits. I don't think we have to be special to be a really good baseball team. I think we just have to do the ordinary very, very well. We have to be extraordinarily good at the ordinary routine part of the game. So make the plays that you can make. Uh, move runners when you can, cash in on the opportunities that you get offensively, throw some strikes, and uh, hopefully we'll come out of there with a series win and, and maybe, who knows, maybe even more. Well, Coach, I want to uh, wish you the best of luck, and uh, thank you for joining us. Um, and for everyone here at the Canyon Sports Connection, and Coach Matt Burdett, I'm Evan Frazier. So long.